First things first, I will plot the design on my chest form using my draping tape. I also mapped out the gray line on the front and back areas of my dress form. After plotting and mapping out the design, I will prepare my fabrics for draping. But before draping, I made it sure to square the grain line on my fabric. Now it's draping time. I simply matched the grain line on my fabric and the center line of my dress form and pinned the fabric in place. Notice that I snipped out the fabric to ease the tension. First, I will copy the torso part. Using my pencil, I simply trace the design lines on my fabric. Next, I traced the bust part. And lastly, I traced the back design on my fabric. After tracing the design lines from the dress form, I will trew my patterns using my rulers. And mark the important notches. After that, I transferred the patterns on my paper and gave each pattern my preferred sewing allowance. I am going to use this skin tone satin for the bodice or shell. And cut the patterns on the grain. I also cut individual French laces to each shell pieces to place on top. Using a fusible web, I fuse the shell pieces with the French laces to combine it as one.
For the sewing, I started first with the front shell pieces. After attaching and sewing the front pieces, I attach the back pieces. For the lining, I also use the same patterns. And same with the shell pieces, I've sewn first the front lining pieces and later on attach the back lining pieces. Before sewing the shell and the lining together, I prepared three bias loops. Two for the straps and the other one is for the back loops. I am going to pin the straps on their designated areas, two straps in front and two loops for the back. And I've sewn in the straps and the loops before attaching the lining. So now that I have attached the straps and the loops, it's time to attach the shell and the lining together. Here is the top for the gown. The straps go inside to the back loops and I simply tie the straps together. For the mermaid skirt, I will use the patterns that I previously created for my tutorial. In case you didn't check my tutorial for mermaid skirts, I will put the link up here and on the description box. And here are the shell pieces for the mermaid skirt. By the way, I used Touches Satin. And it is time to sew this. After attaching all of the panels together, I've sewn in the invisible zipper at the center back of the skirt. After sewing the zipper, I am going to attach this horse hair at the hem to emphasize the flounces or the flares of the skirt. After that, I've pressed the hem to give it a clean finish. and tuck the horse hair at the seams to secure in place. For the lining, I am going to use this basic skirt pattern. And before I attach the skirt lining, I will attach first the top and the skirt together. Hey! 
after that, I will attach the skirt lining at the waist. And at the zipper seam. And there you go. Here is the final result. And thank you guys for watching my sewing vlogs and please guys don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet to my youtube channel La Modelise, please hit the bell button and share this video to your friends and i will see you guys again on the next sewing vlog and on the next tutorial a bientot